So here we have a Range Rover Autobiography Black Edition. We recently had one of these in stock and it lasted for about a week. This one we've recently acquired and it is of a very similar specification. Slightly different colour combination which we'll get to in a moment. But all round a very, very nice car indeed. We've got the Autobiography Black badging on the rear. Split tailgate of course. And then under the boot floor, you've got your full-size spare, what appears to be a spare set of wiper blades. And then you've got your jack and also your tools for taking the wheels off, should you ever have a puncher. The vehicle's also fitted with, if I can reach it, um, a load cover. So that just puts all of your valuables out of um, sight. It's difficult to see into the back of this car though, as it does have the sun protection glass. But when you come inside, you're greeted with this beautiful two-tone perforated, almost navy blue, I'd say, but very, very dark navy blue, um, and magnolia leather, which looks fantastic. You've got the autobiography black embossment there. Embossment, if that's even a word, it's embossed on the leather. Pulling down the armrest, you've got a couple of cup holders and just some storage, just there. Full leather headliner, vanity mirrors for the passengers, and then you've also got heated rear seats and full zone air conditioning, so each, dry, each occupant in the car can have a different temperature set. Under here, <clears throat> auxiliary out and two 12 volt sockets. And then you can just, <coughs> excuse me, you can just adjust where the um, blower is coming from. And these are the vents, obviously. Very nice. Again, the autobiography black badging. Just there. You've got four of these Pirelli Scorpion tyres on the vehicle. And as you can see, there is loads of tread left on those. Black handles. You've got these nice chrome scuttle plates on the side of the car. Coming to the front, you've got the Xenons. Big silver grille on the front, fog lights, front and rear parking sensors. Huge six pot calipers up front. They need to be big brakes because this is a two and a half ton, 2.7 ton vehicle. That said, I mean the 0 to 60 time is 7.8 seconds, which for something of this size and weight is pretty damn impressive. You're greeted as you come into the driver's side of the car, you've got the Range Rover um, kick plates, which are all aluminium, very nice, good quality. You've got these lovely thick magnolia cream piped um, floor mats, very thick, very comfortable. You can even drive this car with bare feet if you'd like and it'd feel like you're sat in your living room at home. You've got three-way memory seats, even electronic headrest adjustments, lumbar. Um, you've got your access height button, folding door mirrors with that button there, electric windows, auto headlights, also wipers. But, um, I've got the key just here, so let's close the door and start the engine. Steering wheel moves down into the into the safe position and the seat also can be set to um, drop so it's easier to get in and out of the vehicle. You've got various off-road settings. This is a automatic transmission, park reverse, neutral drive, sport. You can manually override the gears with the paddles and the steering wheel. And then you've got the various off-road settings for the car as well. So you've got normal, snow, mud, sand, and also rocky terrain. Um, the, the suspension is height adjustable. Got three settings for that. Hill descent control, and you also have uh, two settings, high and low uh, range for the gearbox. Coming onto the centre stack, or above the centre stack, you've got this lovely leather trim dash. Very nice, very good quality, lovely to the touch. Um, coming down, you've got the nav, television, all the free view channels on here, um, DAB radio, CD player, 
um, you can stream music from your um, portable Bluetooth device and you also get a reversing camera with radar and assist. Coming down you've got central locking, hazard warning lights and then your climate control buttons. Now the seat that I'm sat on is not only heated but also chilled and it has a fan in the uh, base and the backrest, the back support of the seat which blows either hot or cold air depending on what you would prefer. Um, you've got some more buttons on the left hand side here, um, auto recirculate, all the normal sort of stuff. You've got a heated front screen, you've got a heated steering wheel, this, this button here, uh, you've got voice commands, and telephone, uh, you've got radar cruise, so these buttons here control how close you want to be to the car in front, electronic steering column with adjustable height and rake, leather headliner makes such a difference in these cars it just makes it feel so much more um, premium inside and then you've got a sunglasses holder the split half Alcantara half leather um, sun visors very very useful and then of course no Ranger is complete without a sunroof so there you go Centre armrest, you've got a um, iPod connector just there. USB as well in there, um, and another 12 volt socket. On the top, you've got some storage for telephone, pens, change, electronic handbrake, ashtray, that's never been used, and that's still brand new. But yeah, I mean, the interior is lovely on this car, it really is. And there you've got your CD changer, 6 CD disc changer, and at the bottom you've got the original book pad, and this is a nice touch, this is um, an autobiography black embossed leather um, wallet, so usually um, you do get, it's like a leatherette, blue usually, but this is nice. Just makes the car feel a little bit special, you know. But no, if you're looking for one of these, um, if you're in the market for one, this is the one to buy. It's absolutely stunning. Paintwork is immaculate, four premium tyres, loads of tread. This is a 60 plate 2010 vehicle. It's got um, 3,300 pounds worth of extras. I mean, this was an 84,000 pound car from you. We're selling it today for $29,990. MPG isn't too bad actually, 30 average. You've got a torque output of 516 foot pounds, which again is impressive. Uh, and then onto a top speed of 130. But give us a call. If you'd like to arrange a test drive, um, you can reach us on 01926 267813. Or if you'd like to put a deposit down on this car, if you're that serious, then uh, you can do so, £500, and we will take it off sale. But it's a beautiful car, give us a call, we'll speak to you soon, thank you.